Hi, this is the 701 that I built in 1998 in March. First flight, first uh, air show I went to was Sun and Fun of 98. It's creeping up on 1900 hours now and no telling how many demo flights I've given over the last 13, 14 years. And uh, we're going to take it up again and show you what the 701 can do. All right, here today we're going to go fly the 701. Uh, we've got the Rotax 912S 100 horse. We have 1,892 hours on this airplane, given a lot of demo flights throughout the years. It was built in the first flight was in March of 98. I have flown this to Sun and Fun numerous times, Copper State numerous times. Oshkosh numerous times. Makes a great flying little airplane. Yes, it's a little bit tighter than the 750 Stole, but it's just an all-around fun little airplane. You can fly it like an ultralight, but on the best thing about it is you can you can land in high winds. I've done over 30 knots direct crosswinds in the 701. Yes, it makes you uh, stay on your toes, but it's very, very easy to do. Check the winds here. One zero, clear below one two thousand. Temperature two five Celsius. Dew point one four. Altimeter three zero one three. Remarks. Density altitude two thousand. Mexico Memorial Airport. Automated weather observation. One seven four seven Zulu weather. Wind three five zero at three. We're going to do a run up here. We're going to run it up to four thousand RPM. To check uh, each one of our ignition systems. Go to the right, looks good. Go back to both. Left, good. Checks our controls clear and free. I do have the flaps, they're manual, we're on the 750 stall, they're uh, electrical flaps. We're just going to go ahead and uh, leave them down for a short takeoff, and in landing, I like to use flaps. Not a big deal having manual flaps. Rotex warm up nicely. We're going to do a nice short takeoff and just fly around a few minutes and then come back in the land. Yeah, temperature is up over 180 on the water. And Mexico traffic. Experimental 701 is going to be departing runway 06, Mexico. I like to add full flaps, stick back, brakes on, add power, and release, and the nose will come right up.
say she's going up just like a rocket. nicely. What I like about the 701 is you can fly on a very, very bumpy day and it's like a leaf just floating in the wind. You don't get those hard, you know, thermal hits as you would in a lot of aircraft. We'll go ahead and turn for, head back down the uh, downwind. When I'm flying an aircraft, I like to sit nice and close and tight. I feel like I'm more in control than more real, than uh, sitting back like in most most airplanes where you can adjust the seat all the way back. I like to be uh, really, really close to my controls. Yes, in a cross country, you do get a little cramped up, but uh, you know this airplane, your normal cross countries are you know a couple hundred miles at the max. typically cruise the Rotax 912S at 5500 RPM, which I'm indicating airspeed about 88 miles an hour. It's not too bad. You could get a little bit more speed, but that's not what the airplane was designed for. It was designed for typically about 80 to 85 and uh, short takeoff and landing. speed and lift up the flaps and push forward and now start my descent. Okay, Mexico traffic, Spermo 701 is turning left base 406 via full stop for Mexico. landings because it is so light. You can take off and land so much quicker than you know most any other airplane because it is light. As soon as you add power, you're basically off the ground. The only drawback is the, the payload is it wouldn't be as much as a lot of other airplanes. I like to maintain a little steeper approach and then uh, develop a little higher sink rate and control that sink rate with power. You can land the 701 without any power, you just have to come in a little bit steeper and just to maintain that airspeed. And keep the nose wheel off as long as you can. Bring it up, up. just a blast. And what's more fun than the 701 is the 701 on floats. Just recently I went up with a customer with the 701 with floats and I tell you what, you just can't have any more fun than that. Southwest. 
time. We're just going to do some high speed taxi, get the nose off. how easy it is to maneuver. You can just turn, basically lock one wheel up and just turn on a dime. So ground handling is very nice. All right, well, I think we'll just call it a day on that. And hope to see all you guys up there at Oshkosh for 2013. If, you, uh, if you're at Oshkosh, come by the booth and let you sit in the 750 Stoll, 750 Cruiser, 650, or the 701, which we're going to have there probably on floats. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, go to our website, uh, zenithair.com, or come by the factory and we'll take you up for a double flight and a factory tour. Don't forget about our open house in September. September, I believe, 21st. It's on a Saturday. We have uh, seminars and uh, vendors coming in on Friday, starting at noon on the 20th. And then that evening, we have a banquet dinner for all builders and potential builders or anybody interested in aviation. We'll have that, I think, believe, starting at 6 on the 20th. And then that Saturday at the 21st, we start at about 8 o'clock. Seminars, demo flights, factory tours, building things, building binders, doing all kinds of different projects. So I expect to see everybody there and fly in if you can. If you don't have a Zenith, fly in your Cessna, Piper, Rans, Kit Fox, whatever. Just fly in anything you can. And uh, see you then.